August 16th, 1999, Rocket Power made his debut on Nickelodeon. This is making me old, bruh. Oh, how do y'all like my shirt? Twenty years of rocket power. I can't believe it. Give me one second. Oh, I'm I'm freaking out right now. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Twenty years. This was the last Nickelodeon Nicktoon of the 90s decade. Rocket Power is basically about four young friends, Otto Rocket, Reggie Rocket, Twister Rodriguez, and Sam Duller, share action and extreme sports in the animated town of Ocean Shores, California. Otto Rocket, his sister Reggie, and their pals Twister and Sam excel at just about every aggressive sport you can imagine, whether it's skateboarding, mountain biking, or surfing. Together, these kids are up for anything. Man. The show ran for four seasons from August 16, 1999 to July 30, 2004. Now, some people didn't really like Rocket Power. And I won't be mad at you because this show was not that great. But it wasn't that bad either. This was one of those animated shows that got me into playing sports like riding my bike, riding a scooter, playing basketball, and so forth. A video game based on the series was released on September 5th, 2001 for the PlayStation console by THQ. Other projects related to Rocket Power developed under the edges of Klasky Subco and or Nickelodeon have been introduced. Rocket Power Beach Bandits and Maximum Rocket Power Live. The Battle for Madtown Park, a live action extreme sport dramatic arena play that briefly toured the U.S. Midwest in spring 2002 before being canceled over low ticket sales. Even with the moderate success of the show, there is no spinoff planned. Rocket Power premiered on Nickelodeon on August 16, 1999 and its final episode aired on July 30th, 2004. As part of the Nick on CBS block, it aired on CBS in 2004. Nicktoons aired the series from 2002 to 2010. Nick Gas, which stands for Games and Sports, also aired the series from 2003 to 2005. The series re-ran on Teen Nick's block, Nick Rewind, formerly The 90s Are All That, The Splat, and Nick Splat from June 2014 to February 2017. Looking back on Rocket Power 20 years later, despite that some people didn't like the show, it's one of my favorite Nicktoons of the late 90s. Like I said, this is one of those animated shows that got me into playing sports. Even though I really don't play sports. But it got me wanting to go outside and play basketball, ride my bike, ride a scooter, or even play football. Or even go roller skating. I looked on Xfinity On Demand and I see they don't have any Rocket Power episodes. So I'm going to have to look up on YouTube, Hulu, or any other cartoon website to re-watch the first episode of Rocket Power in honor of his 20th anniversary. I was only eight going to the third grade when the show premiered. And I was on my way to the eighth when the show ended.
Ah, oh, man. 20 years of rocket power. It don't feel like no 20 years. But I ain't got nothing to, more to say. That's going to wrap up my rant celebrating 20 years of Rocket Power premiering on Nickelodeon. I thought I started this, I thought I would start the rant by playing the Rocket Power theme song because the theme song never gets old. Let me know what y'all think about Rocket Power premiering on this day 20 years ago on Nickelodeon. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Hit subscribe if you like the content. Click on the notification bell for the next video. And I will catch you tomorrow celebrating 20 years of the infamous Mob Deep's fourth album, Murder Music. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace out. About to get back watching this Astros ath athletics game, but I'm not going to talk about that until Monday. Happy 20th anniversary to Rocket Power. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say this, their secret handshake. Wiggity, 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 wiggity.